Please stand. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. God's own voice, who sing creation story, shine on every land and race. Well, as evening falls around us, we shall raise God be with you all. And also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are our light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. God of all 
Creator of life, all praise be to Christ and the Spirit of God. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. A reading from First Chronicles chapter 17. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God, and what is my house, that you have brought me thus far? And this was a small thing in your eyes, O God. You have also spoken of your servant's house for a great while to come and have shown me future generations, O Lord God. And what more can David say to you for honoring your servant? For you know your servant. For your servant's sake, O Lord, and according to your own heart, you have done all this greatness in making known all these great things. There is none like you, O Lord, and there is no God beside you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And who is like your people Israel? the one nation on earth whom God went to redeem to be his people, making for yourself a name for great and awesome things, and driving out nations before your people whom you redeemed from Egypt. And you made your people Israel to be your people forever. And you, O Lord, became their God. And now, O Lord, let the word that you have spoken concerning your servant and concerning his house, be established forever, and do as you have spoken, and your name will be established and magnified forever, saying of Israel, the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, is Israel's God, and the house of your servant, David, will be established for you. The word of the Lord. So, author, Bruce Henmars shared this story. Swiss Air Flight 111 was en route from New York to Geneva on the evening of September 2nd, 1998, when it suddenly plummeted 2,400 meters into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Nova Scotia, killing all 229 people on board. The tiny tourist village of Peggy's Cove was immediately transformed into a command center for the police and, and other emergency officials. Shocked family members arrived to look out over the waves that held their loved ones. An army chaplain went to the water's edge and offered to pray with the grieving family of a 19-year-old California student. He led them in prayer and then the family started to sing a hymn in four-part harmony, and then followed this with amazing grace. The chaplain noticed that all the rescue workers and onlookers were transfixed by the scene. Everyone stopped until they were done. He added, things like that were going on all day, amazing grace in the middle of incredible sorrow. So it was on the same North Atlantic seas 250 years earlier that John Newton, the author of Amazing Grace, first cried out to God for mercy 
during a storm that threatened to kill all on board a foundering ship bound for England. The hymn Amazing Grace has endured through two and a half centuries and has become today a powerful symbol for many people of hope during tragedy. John wrote Amazing Grace based on 1 Chronicles 17. And in this passage, King David recognizes that his worth and value come from God. It was God who exalted King David, and it was God who made and fulfilled his promises to him. Knowing that God established us firmly in him by grace through faith, we can confidently draw near to him in prayer. I believe this chapter in 1 Chronicles spoke to John about what God had done in his life. John experienced God's mercy and grace despite all the terrible things he did in his life. John captained a slave ship and participated in the slave trade. His life was changed and he became an Anglican minister. The grace of God is grace because God treats us with love and mercy, regardless of who we are or what we've done. As we've said, John Newton did terrible things in his life. He was undeserving of God's grace and was, in some ways, one of the greatest of sinners. But in the words of St. Paul, what is amazing is that God loves us while we are still sinners. And what is amazing that Christ died, not for us, we are righteous, but because we are sinners. But God shed his grace on John Newton, the sinner. Christ died for us, sinners. And God sheds his grace on us in spite of us. We receive his grace. We are transformed by his grace. It is his grace which touches our hearts and changes our lives so that we, by faith, receive and respond. It's a wonderful thing when we consider what God did for King David and what God did for the Israelites redeemed from bondage in Egypt and what God did in the life of John Newton or the people standing that day on the water's edge of Nova Scotia crying for and waiting for God's amazing grace. What transforms and changes us, however, are the times in our lives when we've experienced God's amazing grace in our lives and in our families. So as the season of Lent draws to its culmination in Holy Week and Easter, I invite you and me to consider the times and seasons of our lives when we have been touched by God's amazing grace. Times when God made a way for you through the wilderness. Times in your life when unmistakably you were touched by God's grace and you were overwhelmed, amazed at God's grace for you. In closing, let us pray. Lord God, We thank you for your amazing grace, which you bestow upon us. Though we are undeserving while we are still sinners, remind us of those times when you have showered your grace down upon us and prepare us to open our hands and hearts to receive your grace anew each and every day, that we are filled with comfort, peace, and joy because you love us. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.
The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the Chosen One of God Most High. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One. Strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one. Strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forever, oh, my soul proclaims greatness, O oh God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. in your mercy, God of mercy. 
Comfort us all of our days. Keep us whole, us gracious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Amen. 